Good evening, everyone. A mother has killed her young son injured and the suspect is in jail tonight. It was an early morning shooting in Knoxby County just off Highway 3D8 on Cockrell Quarters Road. Our Jory Talley joins us at the Sheriff's Department with more on this tragic shooting. Jory. Joey, the suspect is inside this building behind bars tonight. 22 year old Marcus Gardner. It's been less than 24 hours since Gardner allegedly shot and killed his girlfriend and then shot and injured her young son in the house that they had been living in together for a week. I don't know how many it was. I just heard them going all back to back. I don't know. I can't tell you to count on it. Kanisha Cockrell remembers hearing gunshots early Tuesday morning. She lives steps away from this house that's outlined with crime scene tape. Cockrell is Marcus Gardner's cousin. Gardner is accused of shooting and killing his girlfriend, 21-year-old Kelsey Pace. He is also charged with shooting and injuring her four-year-old son. My cousin came and got me, said they had found and I called 911. Who and then they, they had found uh, the little boy in the house, so, and I called 911. And then we seen the blood trail through the house where she had been drugged probably, so we don't know. The first call came in at 6 on Tuesday morning and not long after, Knoxville County Coroner R.L. Calhoun made it to what he calls a very gruesome crime scene. It appeared that she was, that she was shot and we noticed that burnt, burnt, burnt in several spots of the body as well. Mm -hmm. So right now in the gunshot, we just can't dictate how many times it will because of the condition of the burns. Gardner's aunt, Katina Hopkins, says he hasn't been acting like himself lately. She is shocked by this tragic shooting. I hate the situation that it even had to happen and I feel, you know, hurt in all kind of ways for the girl and her little boy, even though my nephew and I feel that it could have been a different way out of it and, you know, it just could have been prevented. Gardner disappeared after the shooting and eventually gave up hiding when he was spotted by law enforcement. We all was up here trying to coordinate a strategy. Basically, he came out from near the residence where he was and one of the deputies saw him uh, and pulled him over and got him. Sheriff Terry Grassery says the young boy was airlifted to Jackson to the University of Mississippi Medical Center where he is believed to be in stable condition. Grassery also says that Gardner is facing murder charges, aggravated assault, and possibly more. We will continue following this story and bringing you updates as we get them. Reporting live in Oxaby County, Jory Talley, WCBI News. Joey. All right, thanks, Jory. The shooting in Gardner.